Home sweet home, the Fresno Pacific Sunbirds open up a three-game home stand with the first ever NCAA meeting against Westmont. Head coach Tim Beauregard and uh, you guys, even though you were just gone for about 10 days, it's been a lot of traveling at the front end of the conference schedule. Talk about the cumulative effect of being on the road for so much and how important it is to be back at home, back in your own beds, getting some rest. Yeah, we've had a... Uh a grind of a start uh, travel-wise to our season. I mean, doing the Hawaii trip early, our two SoCal trips are done. Um, yeah, it's been it's been great. It's been a good challenge for us. Uh, we played some good basketball, and then I think more recently it, it kind of wore on us a little bit. We needed uh, a little bit of a homestand is going to do us right. Well, this is the second longest homestand of the season, and then you go on the road for one of the last road trips, then you get your longest homestand. Mm -hmm. So seven of the next nine are here at the Special Event Center. What's so important about capitalizing on this stretch? I didn't know that, by the way. <laughs> I don't, we're like two games in front of us, yeah, is all yeah. I me see. Me too, me too. Um, yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, I think it's it's getting to uh, a point, right, in the season where there's not big changes mm -hmm. that are being made. We go in uh, to our practices kind of understanding what we're going to work on. Uh, it's solidifying our identity both offensively and defensively. And I think we've talked about it before. It's just winning in the margins, right? It's not these big shifts or big changes or big swings. It's uh, schematically going to all feel the same to who we are and, and who our personnel requires us to be. And then it's just about getting a little bit better in those margins. And we played some really good basketball in the last handful of weeks. And then we got uh, a, a couple of opportunities to really grow through some tough losses and not playing really well. Uh, the one thing with our team that we understand is if we play harder, than the team that we're playing, we're going to have a really, really good chance. Whether we shoot the ball well or not, um, that's kind of our superpower, and that's what makes us special is we can outwork other teams, mm. and that, that reflects itself in 50-50 balls and turnovers and uh, offensive rebounds and those types of categories that when we see we've won – we feel really good about our chances. Well, that's where being rested helps, yes. right? In that, to be able to exert that sort of energy. Uh, Westmont, a little bit different challenge than maybe some of the sure. teams you've seen. And they play lower scoring games. One of the, the second to, to lowest scoring mm -hmm. team in the Pac West, but they're physical, they, they have some size. When you look at them, their transition sure. to, to the NCAA this year, what do you see them facing and, and how they present a challenge today? Well, first off, I see a legendary coach who knows how to coach, how to prepare her team, has won at the highest level mm -hmm. for a long time, um, and you know they're going to be coached. They're not going to make many mistakes. They're going to know what their identity is, what they're trying to get accomplished. Uh, they have uh, a myriad of guards that can shoot the ball from outside. Um, they have some real physicality and ability to beat you off the bounce inside as well as just kind of bruise you up and play physical and so they can play inside outside basketball it's a real challenge it's it's you know at this point our, our players know the names of everybody on every team we play except for now Westmont right and it was kind of a quick turnaround trying to trying to get into the scout and see a team that we're not familiar with um, and so that's again why we just bank on the fact that it, you know we we work a little bit on exactly what they do but more importantly what is it that we do and how can we impose our will well, looking forward to tonight's special start time this afternoon. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Head Coach Tim Beauregard, we're going to have starting lineups in tip while you finish up your lunch on the Sunbird Sports Network.